welcome back. Today I'm showing you all how to make your own Pinterest inspired Scandinavian art for your wall. creative things that come to my head. I started with Pinterest and I looked up some ideas that I wanted for the wall above my sofa. Before it was super white, super plain, and I wanted to add something. And I wasn't sure about buying one big art print or anything and I wanted something that I could change out if I wanted to either by season or if I just get tired of it in a few months. So for me, the obvious answer was buying large frames where I could change out the art inside of them. And I got so lucky. I found these frames, 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 haha, <laughs> thrifted frames, three dollars each. What? Oh my gosh. I was amazed at the price. When I brought them home, they were an oak wood, which now looking back on it, I wonder if I would have liked that oak wood look, but nevertheless, I went with a black frame instead. So I spray painted them. planning for your at-home art project. I do recommend starting a Pinterest board, gathering some ideas, kind of getting an idea of what you're drawn to naturally, so that way when you're doing your own art, you have that in the back of your head and it will come through into your own art. And you can always go back while you're painting and look at the inspiration, so that way it flows right to your art. I also recommend sketching out the project first and you can kind of get an idea of what it will look like when you actually start it. You can get an idea of the spacing and the scale and the size of the actual painting that you want to do. And then you can also add colors to the sketch that go within your color palette. And speaking of color palette, when you're doing your art, you do want to choose colors that go with your current theme of your house or your desired theme. For our color palette, we did base it off our brand new rug. I wanted the rug to be the showstopper for color because it is very colorful and I wanted the artwork to be more of an assist. When you decide which colors that you want to do for the project, make sure you make enough of that color if you are mixing paints, because if you run out, then you're gonna have to remake it all over and you may change the formula for that color. When painting, you do want to periodically take a step back, look at your art, see how you like it so far, because sometimes when you're working on the art so close, you may not really get the big picture. And the big picture is what you're gonna be staring at all the time. So take a step back to look at all the art, change it around, maybe even flip your art, maybe you like it the opposite way, and then you get a better idea of some things you might wanna add to the art. See where the paintbrush takes your Picasso, your Van Gogh.
Once I finished the main middle frame, I realized I was really scared to paint. And so for the two mini frames, I thought, how can I take the work out of painting? And I thought it would be really cool to find a basket and paint the basket to then leave the imprint onto the canvas, or in my case, cardboard, because I went with cardboard for this project. you to think of any items that may be in your home and what kind of imprint it would leave if you painted it. swear by this tip and it has always worked for me if you make a mistake in your art you can correct it with more art <laughs> my best art honestly comes from the mistake that I did before And then lastly, art is subjective. Don't worry, when you're doing your own art, if anyone else is gonna like it. It's really if it makes you happy. You don't need to make art for anyone else. Be proud of your art and roll with it. Well, that's all I have for today, guys. Thank you so much. Please subscribe and join the family. I'm always looking forward to sharing these projects with you. And if you have any ideas or questions, please leave them in the comments below. I love connecting with all of you. And I'll catch you next time.